Hello and welcome back guys. Today we will uh, do, uh, rather redo a own mock-up uh, that we have already done in, in our channel. Now this is a mock-up of our hoodie but before we did not have the voiceover thing. So today we are bringing that back so that uh, it is very easy to understand for you all. So now we will delve into our hoodie mock-up. So first we will take the paint tool as usual and select the whole hoodie and separate it from the background. Make sure you uh, select all the curves very minutely just like you do in any other mock-up. As you can see, I'm making the points very minute here. With that anchor point tool, you know the first very step. Now you'll select the main background layer and then press control and then you can see that there is a selection has been created outside the hoodie and then press ctrl J and make a copy then change the color of the background now we will uh, make uh, this hoodie a little different from the others we will color each part of the hoodie in each different colors so do that we have to select these parts separately now as you can see I'm selecting this part now we will decrease the opacity and then you can see that I'm adjusting the curves and the nooks and corners of this hoodie that I've selected and selected out also for the separate uh, mock-up now there's a new feature in YouTube, you can zoom in and uh, see the detailed, see it in a more detailed manner. So you can just zoom in and see how I'm selecting all the curves. So once you're done with the left side one, then do the right side one. Now, 
again take the paint tool and then do the inner part no do the hood of the hoodie okay this means the cap portion of the hoodie you can do this in a solid color also like in one solid color but i have chosen to do separate colors to give it a you know pop up look then again add anchor point to and do the proper placements of the curves you don't have to uh, select the outer parts and make them minute because on the other side outer side we don't have any other object so if it's left out like that it won't be a problem because we can later mask them and uh, adjust them but the inner parts need to be selected very minutely you can you can switch on the layers and switch off them to understand which layers we have already selected now we will do the string of the hoodie the hood actually once you are done again press control j and separate them it from the hoodie the main part of the hoodie then again so that and that you have created and then delete the extra layers that you had and then press control and select all the parts that you have selected so far so that the whole hoodie is selected but with separate parts then we will exclude the other parts from the main hoodie so that we have the body part we didn't have to select it separately the moment you erase the other parts from the hoodie the body part will be there now we have erased the excess part then we'll switch on the layers all the layers that we have created by far we'll switch on them
so as we have some extra parts from the string of the hoodie we will delete that part then we will merge these two layers and make them look better like that just like that yes just follow my instructions and look at the screen so that it is easier for you to understand i'm just instructing that it is easier for you to concentrate on your work if you watch this simultaneously as you are working but the screen is the main thing so do not skip the video and watch it full then you can just group them and name them according to your convenience i have named it hoodie then we will draw a rectangle tool uh, according to the body of the hoodie according to that measurement and then we will take a solid color and convert it to smart object and then if, if we press control and select this uh, layer of the body part we will see the outline of the body and then press on the masking so that the body part is merged and in the similar way do the sleeves hoods and the strings so as you can see all the parts are separately selected then copy the whole hoodie from the background layer and then place it in the top of everything then make another two copy of this hoodie now make sure this whole hoodie this is the whole hoodie that we have made three copies of now we'll work on the shadow mid tone and lighting then name them then make the shadow to linear burn and then as you can see adjust it then select the mid tone and linear dots add select linear dots add then go to images labels and then adjust the scales according to your preference and see how you like it then once you have adjusted then press okay then take the lighting select the lighting and then select the screen option and then again similarly go to the labels and adjust the scales <clears throat> then press okay then group them group these three layers and name them effects because they are special effects then take the background color then make it linear burn to give a nice shading and make it look realistic make the object pop out from the background change the color if you want to the yellow was going with the body part too much so i'm changing the color a little now you can change the colors and everything according to your preferences just make sure it looks good or satisfy the needs of your client or yourself and that's it that's it for today make sure everything is nice and all and then finally last but not the least that is if you want to add any text you can just write it there from the text box and then change the fonts the style the size make it bold little size and then press that right button and it will be updated on your hoodie we will change the string a little to make it you know a little more realistic 
Now to match it with the sleeves and the hood. You can adjust it according to your preferences. That's it. You can change whatever you want afterwards. Once you are done with the technical part of the mock-up. Now you can change any part of the mock-up as you wish. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching.